The history of Nigerian arts is fascinating. The dawn of the 15th century saw a massive explosion in the art scene. The 19th century saw the prominence of arts from the Nok, Benin, Ibuku, Owo, Eshe, and Ife artworks. Today, these artworks influenced Nigerian creatives to produce works within existing traditions and practices. Some individuals in the contemporary Nigerian art scene have laid the foundation for study and national development. These artists have used their arts to promote the image of the country within and outside its shores. The Nigerian contemporary art scene draws a lot of imagination and knowledge from tradition. With little support from the government and major private sectors, Nigerian art has survived against all odds, positioning itself as a force to be reckoned with globally. And that is why we have decided to pay a visit to the Arts and Craft Village in Nigeria's capital city to examine the different works of art created and marketed by Nigerians. From woodwork to paintings, stone and metal cabins, figurine, jewelry and clothing. We are at the Arts and Craft Village in Jabi, Abuja, Nigeria, and we're here to take a look at some of the beautiful artworks made by these very, very incredible and talented artists. This right here is a bag made out of crocodile skin. You can see that this is a real crocodile's head. Now that's how creative Nigerians can be. And I'm here with a gentleman. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. To Munzo, they shall won't come on us when you don't tell another cane. Muji, yet the cake of Ara and Nang Sanang, yet the Kiki, Yajaro and Nang Abuang, the Kuma, Mazoli, the Kuki, Fuscanta, and Nang Arts and Craft Village, Ajabi, Abuja. Sana Jesuli, and you know, me Mutuman Kanoni. To your Shakafara and Nansa Nang, so not far on Nansa, a commercial car, Bokoi, the Tavich. So, Anang Sana, I guess here, Alhamdulam, and Allah. Challenges. <laughs> black black guys i've got my own wrist bead called matted black and i'm getting some more artifacts some more artworks from this art village stay tuned Daniel Alami, a woodcarver and sculptor, has been in the business for over a decade. He says the drive comes from his personal desire to create something out of nothing and also to portray the Nigerian creative industry in a positive light. When the inspiration comes, yes. what you will do is pick up a piece of wood that will make that work um, attractive, lively and inviting, you understand? Yes. When I get my log of wood, I design what I want to carve. After drawing it, I carve it out and make it as attractive as possible. We are still at the Arts and Crafts Village in Abuja. 
and I'm sitting here with Daniel, who is a very, very young and creative woodcarver and sketch artist. Now, Daniel has shown me some of his amazing works, and um, we want to talk about the financial aspect of his creativity. So, Daniel, thank you so much for joining us on NCBN. Well, um, I've seen your works, amazing, amazing works. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do. Uh, my name is Daniel Dalami Abasia, and uh, I'm a woodcarver and artist. You no, know, I sketch and uh, I produce the wood carving work. All right, now, um, can you tell us um, how the patronage has been for you here at uh, the Arts and Crafts Village? Obviously, mm. you've been doing this for. Um, I've been doing this for like some few years back. You understand? Yeah. So the patronage, obvious, ob um, obviously, it's not that much like it used to be. And uh, one challenge we used to have is when we produce work and give our prizes, the customers always price it lower than the work. You understand? Lower than the hardship of the work. Although we don't see it like hardship, we are having fun. Like me, I carve, sometimes I can carve and dash you. Yes, but you know, whatever it is you are doing, you do to make money and make living. You understand? So the patronage is poor, honestly, because most of our patronizers are foreigners and uh, we just have just scanty patronage from the locals. Yeah, from, from the, the locals. You understand? However, Daniel laments that customers always try to begin his works in such unfavorable manner that he ends up losing money at the end of the day. He hopes to promote his artwork through social media, a move he believes will afford him the opportunity to reach a bigger target market and change his life. I intend to boost my business. You understand? You know, anything you are doing, you start somewhere. Yeah. Like in next 20 years, I intend to have as much students and workers as possible. You understand? So, like what we are having challenge now is having a reasonable place. As you can see, the place is just it's not that big, so you can't begin to put that uh, program in motion. Yeah. Sometimes the patronage is very, very low. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously, like today, I haven't sell anything. But maybe next time in the evening, I may be able to sell this. You understand? So, and uh, obviously, the prices are very low now. The prices are very low. When you give a customer a price, he's going to cut it into half. And then sometimes, when you need money in your pocket, then you just... You understand? You know, I intend to use Facebook and uh, WhatsApp and uh, Instagram. You understand? And media, of course, and the media. Okay. It's all right, um, Daniel. I, I hope and I believe that once you, you know, put your works out there on social media platforms and online, people will get to see and um, locate you here at the Arts and Crafts Village, yeah. you know, in Abuja. Hopefully, yes. people from around the country and even outside uh, mm. Nigeria. Yes, yes, yes. So, we will keep our fingers crossed and uh, look forward to seeing you online, Daniel. Come on. All right. Many artists like Daniel have made the Arts and Crafts Village their creativity hub. Most of them, young people with the passion and desire to tell the Nigerian story through art while making an honest living. I have a passion for art, so that what drives me to do art more. So I did art, but I just, you know, been like drawing and all those cartoons and all those entries, everything. So I had passion for art from the beginning, like I said. So art is, let me say, art is life. So you're obviously uh, painting something right now. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about uh, what you're trying to create here in your Okay. Canvas? This is an um, um, abstract paint. So this is like um, a city with trees around here. 
I'm just starting though, as you can see. I'm just starting it, so it's like an abstract building. Yeah, with cities and flowers what, around What it. other works have you done here? Uh, this this is, is abstract. Yeah, my uh, works, It yeah. seems like you are more into abstract painting. Abstract, yeah. Okay, tell us about this abstract painting here. So this is color, um, color splash. It's an abstract painting, color splash. As you can see, more colors are everywhere, just abstract like that. Okay. So it's a color splash work. Very beautiful yeah. piece of artwork. And the one above there, what is it about? That was African, African woman. Okay. Yes, you can see with this on their head and babies at back. Okay. All right. That's African life. That's that's beautiful. Yeah. Now, um, Ezekiel. Yeah. Ezekiel, tell us um about the level of patronage, you know, from buyers. Some people say that um, as an artist, uh, you don't get to make enough. Enough. Yeah. That um, they even coined a saying that the starving artist, our artists, our painters and covers really starving. No, they are not starving actually. But we we do have more um more patronage from the whites, from like from foreigners most than our own black people, because the white the whites like understand us more than the blacks do. So we do have more patronage from them mostly than the blacks. But artists are not starving though. They are okay. In, like they are okay in their way. Now what we have here is a tree by the river bank, the river bank, okay. Then we have uh, the grasses here. Then we have uh, bushes. While the white side we are seeing here is the, the river. And at the time, what we are trying to show here is just like uh, sunset, a kind of night okay. uh, view. Yes. Viewing it from the side of uh, the river. The river. Okay. So by the time I'm done with this Hello. now, what I need to apply will be a kind of white color. Yes. White paint to, with to, to little, signify with little mix of black. Okay. To bring it out so that it, it pronounces on the background that we are seeing here. Uh, oh, all right. We will really, really love to see that, Mr. Abdurazak. So, let's see you get back to work and see the outcome of this very hard. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. We're still here at the Arts and Crafts Village in Jabi Abuja and we're still taking a look at some of the interesting wood carvings, paintings and sketches by this incredible artist. Come with me, there will be more. 3,000 and this 30,000 Naira. This one is already framed. Okay. This one is not framed. So the, so the frame itself costs 10,000 Naira. Yes. If you're going to frame this for me, it will cost 40,000 Naira because the painting itself, a painting on canvas is 30,000. Yes. The frame is 10,000. That's 40,000 Naira. Yes. Beautiful. Now tell me about this, Vicky. This one is talking about husband and wife, being united, being loved, care for each other, to be at one piece. That is the essence of this painting. Yes. It's a very, very beautiful piece of artwork. Yes. And I assure you, before I leave here, I'm going home with one piece of artwork. I'm here collecting artworks from carvings to drawings to paintings. I'm going home with a truck full of artworks. Follow me. The Arts and Crafts Village is one of the major tourist attractions in Nigeria. Originally established in 2003, for the exhibition of arts and crafts during the Commonwealth meeting of the various heads of government, the Abuja Arts and Crafts Village has since been adapted and managed as a tourist site by the National Council for Arts and Culture. Hundreds of foreign and local art lovers and collectors visit the village every year. You obviously have just um, bought some few pieces of artwork and um, you're heading home with your very beautiful pieces of artwork. Tell us why uh, you patronize the Arts and Crafts Village here in Abuja often and why you love artworks. The reason why I love art is that I love art when I was young. And at the same time, I, I attend technical school. So my course, I, I read um, painting and decorating. So 
I just like something creative. Okay. And I will make, I think, a living room. So what did what what, what did you get today? Um. Okay, let's take a look. What is this? Just. Just a pad just to a pad keep to uh, keep uh, things on the, on the, on, on the tiny dining, dining table. table okay, table. I see you've got quite a number of yeah, them here. A bit that okay, you can hang on the wall. Wow, you know, uh, but, but but somebody cannot wear this. Can you can actually wear this. No, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. Okay, uh, and and what are, what is this made out of? These are stones or yes. Okay, precious stones. Yes, precious stones. It's it's all right, Shola. Thank you very much for talking to us, and um, we hope to see you again at the Arts and Crafts Village. Artists like David Awotodumbo, on the other hand, are beginning to decry the lack of interest shown by the government and agencies that are stakeholders in the business. According to the internationally acclaimed painter, sculptor, and fabric designer. His works are often appreciated outside the shores of Nigeria than within the country. These are first bit my artworks, both home and abroad. Wow. I wish I can mention like three different uh, countries, France, America, and then uh, Trinidad and Tobago. David is calling on the government to make provisions for a permanent site for artists within Abuja a proper space befitting to the creative community. Still, government needs to do something. Government needs to come to our head. We are hearing about uh, loan every, every, you know. As you see us here, we, have, we, we, we employ people. Because if we do our job, we, are, we keep it in our shop here. Yeah? We employ people that is working with us. You know, as this uh, lockdown issue, coronavirus is coming, they, as government is considered, the people who are working in the office, they're supposed to, to consider the artisan. Even the challenge, the major challenges we are having is we don't have a certain place that we can, we can call an art village or art market in Nigeria, especially this Abuja. Government did not provide a, a stable place, or a standard place for us, so that the uh, the, the whole world will know that if they, they, they are in need of artworks, they will come to. So, so, so. This, this this place is 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 private. Unique artworks such as furniture and kitchen wares made out of wood, metal, clay, cane, bamboo, and ceramics are on display at the Arts Village a proper representation of the level of creativity exhibited by Nigerians. Edward makes great wood carvings of animals and societal symbols, but finds it difficult to sell them off. He loves art and intends to study in the university to hone his talents. The 19-year-old, however, bemoans low sales as he most times waits in vain for customers to show up. Eli, how many you this year? It depends. Maybe if customer come or they don't come. Or like since morning I never say, but maybe in the evening they feel come. And then I go say I rain for. So they don't come outside today. And because of the corona virus with the everywhere now, they know they to come because now white men they come by from us. Maybe our own. No, they then say they come. come, they they come, but then the compass. Oh yeah, no wahala. So, uh, Edward, tell me, how much be this your dear where you don't have? This one, uh, 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira? Yes. Okay. How much you go come out for inside for me? Make I buy out. I've been asked uh, the price there. Uh, how much you want to pay? Hey, the, this thing don't come out. I've been asked the day. If you so come out the, now, yeah. put them back. Okay. Yes. It, yeah, no, nice one, nice one, nice one. So 10,000 naira. If I pay 10,000 naira like this, Taking yeah. the money, I don't carry this one go house. Free. Oh yeah, come here, we can't do this next time. Okay. The creative fire still burns in the arts and crafts village, but some artists have decided to take a step further by taking their crafts to the streets of Abuja, something the city is popular for. 
street art. It's another beautiful day here in Nigeria's capital city, Abuja, and we're still going around and taking a look at some of the beautiful pieces of artworks here in Abuja. And behind me, you can see very, very unique flower verses and right here you have beautiful and amazing pieces of artwork we want to talk to some of these art makers these artists and also art buyers come with me let's hear what they have to say well um to me um before i make a painting or draw something um the mentor that comes into my mind is um what i'm trying to draw what image is it going to create and uh, what is it going to reflect in the mind of people now that brings it brings forward to what you're seeing here, this painting. Now, some people they have not seen a village setting, like uh, probably those children who actually are, uh, who grew up in uh, this um, um, well, I see, urban, uh, urban cities. They've not seen the concept of village concept. If you're telling them a mod house, they might be seeing it as something abstract. Now, a picture of this explains to them how a mod house looks like, and also it gives them a village sense of uh, uh, like belonging. Now, see a palm tree, maybe some of them have never seen something like that. All they have seen all their life is a, a, a fisher. Now, with this act, it gives them something like a, 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 a feeling of being at home, like a village setting. There seems to be more patronage for these artworks lined up on the streets as customers driving by can easily stop by and grab any artwork that catches their fancy. Meanwhile, somewhere in the heart of Nigeria's capital city, a team of young people are revolutionizing the creative industry headed by a digital artist. They have a collective dream of changing the face of art in the country and they believe that the future of art is digital. Efa Eteng has an idea of merging all talents and creative ideas together to satisfy one customer. He says with the digital upgrade he does to his works, he is breaking the chain of the conventional and traditional way of art making. Young creative artist has brought together other like minded individuals to make up a team at a place he calls Demotive Hub. His aim is certain the digitalization of art. Okay, thank you very much, Effa. Guys, I have just got my own personal sketch from Demotive Hub done by the incredible Effa himself. Don't you just love being a Nigerian? Nigerians are creative. What are you waiting for? Pay a visit to the Motive Hall. If supported and well structured, the potential of the Nigerian art sector as a major source of income for the country's economy is assured. Establishment of art centers for learning both theory and practice would give young talents a space to sharpen their craft and empower them to put their talents to good use. Provision of creative spaces will help emerging artists to create more artworks, study and also allow people in and outside the country to come and view their artworks. 